guys, let me just say that I'm here. It's, it's a wonderful honor to be in front of you at like Comedy Central, Laugh Your Language, season two, but I need you to know that I'm here under protest, okay? I cannot support these goings on because I don't think we should be celebrating language because language is deceptive. <laughs> it's tricky. We cannot trust language. It's like politicians at election time. We can't trust them. And it's election time in South Africa and people are stressed out. People get stressed out during election times in South Africa. And I'm just glad I don't have to get caught up in that stress because I don't live in South Africa. I don't. I live in Cape Town. So, so it's not my problem. But you know what? There is the problem with, with the elections in South Africa is we have no one to vote for. We have fucking no one to vote for at the moment. So what we're doing is we're voting like we're watching a primary school athletics meeting. We're just going for a color. You know what I mean? We're like, go green team! Green house, yes! Other people are going, no, green house must fall! Green house must fall! Green house must fall! And the problem is that everyone taking part in the events at the athletics meeting are super <laughs> at the events. Like the green team keeps f***ing up the relay. So every time they hand over to the next guy, they're like, oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't me. The red team has put a stop to the long jump because they've reappropriated the sandpit without compensation. <laughs> The blue team is lank upset because they feel like they invented the sandpit. It's a problem. We don't know who to vote for. And America right now is in a situation where they're living in shock because they are seeing what it's like and what happens when you vote for the wrong person through an election. As South Africans, we've fucking been through that. We've, we've gone through that and we've come out the other side. We are like the walking dead of voters. Seriously. So we don't care who's the next president. We'll vote for anything. See, so we will vote for anything just to see what happens. See, we were like, who's the president? It's a ham and cheese sandwich. What's he doing? He's melting. It was better than the last guy. What did he do? He ate the constitution. What? Yeah, he was a goat. It's like a goat. Yeah, he's a literal goat. He climbed up onto the presidential desk and he ate the constitution. It's better than the last guy. What did he do? He literally took a on the Constitution. Like a steaming little turd on the Constitution. Who is that? It's Jacob Zuma. If you want to believe that Tosa is confusing, listen to Gwede Mandashe. Gwede Mandashe can come up with five words that mean the very same thing in one sentence. Mr. Gwede Mandashe, how are you going to work out the etals? This is Galileo versus a user in methods. Okanye is procedures. Gaskin DTE plans. Detetang strategies. Okanye is protocols. I did this joke for, for the president not so long ago, and Gwede Mantashe was there. He didn't find it funny. He didn't even laugh, because now I was an MC at the gala dinner, and then after I did the joke, I had to call Mr. Gwede Mantashe to come on stage, and then, and then Tosa people have a denial syndrome. He went on stage trying to deny what I was saying, but the denial didn't favor him because he was still saying the very same thing. We are Zabanta Banins, especially comedians. They are turned into Basbene opinions or can you views. Cascandity speculations. The Tetange perspectives or can you assumptions. I don't know who to vote for, guys. I don't know who to vote for. It's a mess in every direction. It's a hot, hot mess. But I want to request one thing from all of you guys today. Please make the right decision so that we don't, we don't end up having reverse apartheid. I see some comrades are excited of the idea. Let's know. Let's, let's not go towards the reverse apartheid. I don't think it would be a great idea because can you imagine we have reverse apartheid happening like right now? We have a black guy by the name of Tabo living in the suburbs, double-story house, 
walks into his lounge with so much black privilege, walks in, and he thinks to himself, I want to have a whiskey. Goes into his room there, takes out a chair, <laughs> takes out a whiskey, <laughs> takes out a cup, <laughs> pours his whiskey, takes out one ice block. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sees outside a window. <laughs> he sees a white couple looking very suspicious. Tambi! Tambi! Call the police now. There are some white people in the area. They look very, very suspicious. Hey, Tambi, run to the phone. Hello, hello, uh, Constable. Yeah, what is the problem? We need your help. Uh, what is the problem? There are some very dangerous people. Describe them. They are white. I'm coming. <laughs> Come straight. Guess they in five minutes flat. Stops the car. Comes out his car. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why he's wearing high heels. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but to each their own. They each their own. And goes over to the lady and says, Hey, Werner, what is this on your head? Hmm? What? Why is your hair real? Eh? Why is your hair real? You should be wearing a wig or bonding, Werner. Eh? Hmm? Where is your dumpers? Okay, it wouldn't be a dumpers. It would be something just to fuck with white people so they can't pronounce it, you know? So say, Hey, Werner, where is your white chukuchakavata? Um... Um, um, my watch is here, sir. That's all I'm on. All right. Delila. Delila. Ibo, it says Delila over here. It says Delila. Yeah, Delila. Wanna Delila? You're not. <laughs> Take this. I'll deal with you now. What about you, Wena Fana? Hmm? Aubrey, I am very sorry. It's just that. Uh -uh. What is your name, Wena? Aubrey, uh, my name is uh, Jonathan. Jo jo Jonathan. Jo jo Jonathan. Hey, it's too difficult to pronounce. We're now going to call you Nchaganepo. All right. Nchaganepo. <laughs> what are you doing here this late, eh? You know that Mlungu hours say you should be at home by now. No, bro. Uh, we're taking you to Malema's island right now. Come, come, come. <laughs> and when you get to the beach, now they tell him, no, you swim. You swim. Swim to the island. We're stopping you. Swim, swim, swim. And gets into the island. He's now behind bars. Singing a white struggle song. Sounds the call to come together and united we shall stand. Let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa. Our hey, winner, whose land? Your land. 